We're here at Vallelunga in Italy for the FIA Motorsport Games. It's the first time this competition has ever taken place, with national teams competing in competitions ranging from karting to Formula 4, touring cars, GT racing, drifting and esports. Team China is here with the new MG6 X-Power TCR, and it's the first major competition this car has ever taken part in, with it only being homologated earlier this week. The MG6 X-Power TCR has been developed and built by SAIC in China and is powered by a 2.0-litre four-cylinder engine also from the Chinese firm. The car has already seen action in the Chinese National Championship, but this is the first time it's ever been on track in Europe. Two teams are running the car this weekend, China and Great Britain, a perfect nod to the company's British heritage and modern-day foundings in China. Now while the MG6 may be new to TCR racing, it isn't new to touring car racing. Sean, your team has campaigned the MG6 in the BTCC and now you're here working with the, the Team China and Team GB this weekend. What are the key differences between this version of the car and the uh, one that you've been running in the British Championship for a few years? Well the most important thing is that this is 99% MG, that's the most important thing. A British touring car has got a lot of other parts like a front and rear subframe, the engine's non-MG, suspension's non-MG. So it's actually quite interesting and it's, it's, it's interesting the QEV developments guys have been working flat out to get this ready in the last month and then to be so competitive is incredible really. So actually, hats off to them, they've done a great job. Um, but I mean, it's a big difference between the two cars. I mean, it's completely different. This is much more road going based, if you like, even though underneath there's quite a few trick bits on it. Um, the British touring car rules, the NGTC rules are, are, are made so that actually you don't have to have 30 different cars on the grid. You actually have 30 different cars, but actually most of them are 80% of it is pretty much the same. And we've seen this weekend it's competing alongside TCR machines that have been running for a long while. And like you say, it's been competitive right away. How impressed have you been with the MG this weekend? No, fantastic. I mean, it's a long way to be competitive, let's say, but actually to, to you know start P3 yesterday in the first race, they had a few problems in the first race, but that's to be expected because they're doing their testing, you know, at a race meeting. Um, you know, today should be a lot better. But I mean, the key thing today is to have a, a P10 finish. That's what we're looking for. But I think there's there's a lot of work to do to get it up to the spec of the Hyundai, you know, or the Volkswagen, you know, or the Audi even. You know, there's there's a lot of work gone into those cars, and obviously a, a much bigger factory effort. But the, the Chinese MG factory are, are super keen on making this car a success. So, you know, d don't be surprised if next year you're seeing, seeing two up, further up maybe the WTCR field. So the MG6 X Power TCR project's been going for a while now, and I'm here with Michael, the team manager. So tell us a little bit about the development of the car from its early days as a road car to here now at the FIA Motorsport Games. Yeah, we just finished the homologation just the earlier well, this week. So this race is kind of the debut of this uh, TCR, new TCR cars. And uh, we developed this car maybe uh, only early one year. And uh, we just, uh, in some TCR China, we just uh, testing and racing in TCR China for three races and this one is our first international race in I think it's good for, for us for all of our uh, hard works uh -huh. and every time it's been on track this weekend it's got quicker and quicker and the team's been working better and better yes, so yes. what have you been doing in between the sessions here to make the car go quicker every time uh, first of all we make it car stable and stable because the car is new car and uh, uh, some small change some small adjust to make car one of, and uh, I think Rory will be, be very fit for this kind of uh, air condition because the little bit of right, right and slip in the track and uh, he was from uh, from England, you know, it's really, it has really good uh, lap, lap time. And so with this weekend out of the way and a positive weekend, mm -hmm. so what, what's next for the MG6 uh, X-Power TCR? Uh, next uh, also we will go to the, go back China, uh, uh, take part in the TCR China and we will some upgrade of the car and the 2020 uh, version of the car, some small change, some of the, also the uh, original car will have some uh, upgrades, the lights and some of the others. Uh, we will upgrade a new car uh, and uh, 
take a, take part in the POP in the testing and the twin tunnel, and we are, we have new TCR MG6 cars. And once all this development is complete, will it be competing in TCR championships in Europe and in America and yeah, over the in world? In the future, we have some plan in maybe WTCR. We will take part in maybe in 2021. Okay. Yes, that's our future plan. Uh, next year, we just also make uh, take part in the TCR China and make sure make the car more stable, more more faster, and we will we will we will try to take part in the WTCR. So it might not have been the perfect end to the weekend, but you must be really happy with how the car's been improving over the weekend and how the pace has been getting stronger and stronger. Yeah, because this car is uh, totally made in China. So we not uh, do, did a lot of tests. Uh, for this time, it's only the fourth time to race. So yeah, my, my team member, he get a uh, really good results. But for me, I my drive shaft uh, broken. So I quit, but uh, for us it's a very good experience. I really want to race again with uh, this and also come next year the FIA Motorsport Games. Yeah, that, that was a really special race for us. Um, you know, we, we came to this event with quite low expectations because the car only rolled, got homologated about a week ago and uh, it rolled out the workshop and did a half day test at Barcelona on, on Tuesday. But we've had lots of issues since then, um, but every single session we've done, we've improved and it all kind of came together there. And that little bit of rain just, uh, yeah, kind of fell, fell into our hands. <laughs> I think arriving at an, an event like this, where it's so competitive and, uh, you know, there's still lots more to be done to this car um, for 2020. And um, I think, yeah, I, I can just see so much potential and it'll be competitive uh, in Europe and, and elsewhere. A Chinese teammate uh, was, was superb and um, I think it's just a nice kind of synergy. And talking of, of, of China as well, motorsport there is growing year on year and touring car racing is quite big there as well. So what's your impressions of racing in China? Yeah, I think I would say all going well, I should be out in China doing some racing next year. Um, most likely in an MG and potentially uh, other cars too. So. I think yeah, I'm excited to hopefully get out there in 2020. Um, it, it's definitely seems to be become more competitive, and uh, there's there's a lot of kind of international drivers going over there. So yeah, it should be fun. So that's it for the FIA Motorsport Games and the MG6 X Power TCR. It's been a strong weekend overall for the car, with this car running in the top 10 for much of Sunday and the British entrant finishing in the top 5. Every time the car went out on track, it went faster and faster and the team has made great gains over the weekend, giving them a strong platform for the future.